Everybody, it's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see Carson Wentz and the Philadelphia Eagles as they take on the new man, Nick Foles, and the Jacksonville Jaguars. With that, let's get on up to Jacksonville. Standing by for the call, it's our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Sunshine State in TIAA Bank Field here in Jacksonville. A few minutes prior to us coming on air, this crowd was jolted into action with the introduction of these Jaguars. They're set for football as the Jags are ready to match up with Carson Wentz and the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gauden. Now, Charles, you and I, we've done a lot of games together. It always seems like we're rehashing the same storylines. Turnovers, of course, always a big story. Quarterback play, running backs, yada, yada, yada. But getting ready for this one, one word kept coming to mind, and that's preparation. Well, it's critical to be prepared physically, mentally. When you think about getting ready for an NFL game, you have to wonder, what will they throw at us that maybe we haven't seen before? two-minute drill, maybe different things like that. Got to be prepared. You're exactly right. The Jaguars have Josh Lambeau out there to get us started. And off we go from Jacksonville. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. There's Carson Wentz bringing out the Philadelphia Eagles. 21 touchdown passes, just seven interceptions for him last year until a back injury knocked him out in week 14. to Zach Ertz and they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44 an early statement on the game's first play 18 yards and a first down I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle and if you can sting them there that opened things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. Now a play fake here on first down. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now a two-time 1,000-yard rusher for the Bears. This is Jordan Howard, and he'll get three out of the 34-yard line. Quickly now a look at the Eagles' offensive starters. Two-time All-Pro center Jason Kelsey is one of the most athletic centers in the league. In fact, he went to the University of Cincinnati as a walk-on linebacker before converting to the offensive line. Can pull, trap, get out in front of runners in any situation and one of the more intelligent centers in the league as well, handling all of their line calls. On second and seven, Wentz. This complete left side to Aguilar. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Twenty. 
They'll try to run for it with Howard. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. A rough go there on third down. A loss of four. No score after one on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. This one is right down the middle. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. So still no touchdowns in the first half, but we do have some action on the scoreboard with the field goal. So maybe now the mentality changes in this game because anytime you can get to the red zone and if you don't come away with six points, you feel like it's a disappointment. In a game like this one, being able to kick field goals means you're right there and then you're just looking for that big break to take you over the top. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. This one taken from the seven. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. So here are the Jags now set to get their first drive. As you get a peek at a man who entered the league in 2012 as a third-round draft pick, Nick Foles. And the first possession isn't until the second quarter, but what's nice about it, it's only down three. So what you sell your team on is, look, one possession, one drive, we put it in the end zone. We're in the lead in this game. Let's go, guys. to D.D. Westbrook. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Now the Jags are moving quickly in the hurry up. To throw again on second down. Foles throwing over the middle and it's incomplete. Marquise Lee, the intended target, and it's third and short. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Foles. Open man is Westbrook, complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. A throw left side complete to his receiver, Westbrook. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and 10. Yo, 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 yo. Yo! Now Foles. Completes it to Lee. The Jaguars gonna go ahead and use their first timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. A 
Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Second and three. They'll get this over to Westbrook. It's complete. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Go. Second and 10 now from the 27. You must be Second and 10. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held him to an okay game. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. So on fourth Josh down, Lambeau. Jags kicker Josh Lambeau comes on. This is a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. The kick by Lambeau is good. And that will knock things up here late in the first half. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football and something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball get three points knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. team with a possession, each team with a field goal as the kick is away. That's fielded in the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and 10. A very good gain on first down, nine yards on the dump off. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Let's go, team. Big series right here. We got to step up. The final shot before half for Lance. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. So we've hit halftime here in what obviously is a very fast-moving first. And now due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward to the beginning of the second half. Second half ready to roll. Two field goals, a combined output in half number one. Could be first touchdown wins. This is taken about seven yards deep. Come on, fellas. 
Out come the Jaguars now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Lee. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. He'll drop to throw. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end. But running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Here's a give to Fournette. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. So a good run by Fournette. Now another first and ten. They'll set up a throw. And this will be incomplete. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. They'll drop the throw. He'll find O'Shaughnessy open left side. It's a first down on a gain of ten. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back to throw. This one complete over the middle to O'Shaughnessy. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Back now in Jacksonville. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. a second and two after that last catch good for eight yards let's make these babies crawl all the way back a handoff to Fournette and he'll be brought down at the 21 just shy of the 20 in the red zone seven yards there and a first down but they picked up a little bit of yardage there and now in this situation should be in no hurry to run a play really fast let the clock wind down They keep it with Fournette on first down. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's oh, all. Yeah. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Here we 
So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20 yard line. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This for the lead in the final stages. And Lambo will put this one through. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. Well, we still wait on the first touchdown of the game, but a second field goal now makes it a 6-3 score. Yeah, I know a lot of people would call this the definition of winning ugly. To me, this is gorgeous. I'm a defender, right? I love these kind of games. The tension is high. Who's going to make the play to win it? And right now, that field goal may be the advantage they need. After the main field goal, back out Lambo to kick this one off. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So now Wentz and the Eagles down six to three, under a minute 20 to go. They need at minimum three points out of this as they come up first and 10. play that started back at the 25. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. First down now, but that clock rolling. From midfield, here's Wentz. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Wentz off the fake handoff to Howard. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver, and it's third down. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Wentz to throw for it on fourth. This is caught by Jackson. And he gets it inside the 35.
seven just shy of the 30. A gain of 14. First down, Eagles. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off,